what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is kenzie and i'd love for you to join the kens fam but today is a friday december 11th and it was my last day of classes which is freaking fantastic if you ask me but i have finals next week anyway besides the point irrelevant as you can tell by the title of today's video we are getting ready for a date you know when you're going on a date you want to like be extra clean you want to feel your best we're gonna do the whole nine we're gonna shave exfoliate we're going to do some skin care some body care you name it it's going to be in this video except for washing my hair obviously because i don't need to do that i'm also probably just going to be talking throughout this video when i'm doing my makeup and stuff it's just like a life update so this video could end up being longer than i want it to be but we will see if you haven't make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join the kins fam we'd love to have you here and without further ado let's get right into it so sorry if you can hear a lot of things going on in the background i'm in this bathroom so if you are a returning subscriber you have seen this bathroom before i'm pretty sure like the washer and dryer is right here and the kitchen and all that stuff is like right there so the first thing that i'm going to do is exfoliate and wash my face but speaking of that if you do want like an in-depth like skincare routine please comment that down below and let me know so i can make sure to film that i might do that anyway but just in case you guys really want to see it please let me know and i will get that out to y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and do all of that and then i will come back when i'm done also as you can see i have a lot of acne scars and like zits and pimples and stuff coming on my face which is so unusual for me i'm also on my period so that's also why i'm breaking out but this helps a lot with my acne and just getting my skin back to where it needs to be because i have been slacking on my skincare and i need to get back into it <music> and all of that stuff and I just thought that this would be like a chit chat little get ready with me I guess type thing. I'm just going in with the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. But yeah, make sure to get down like my neck because what a lot of people don't realize is your neck is disgusting and a lot of people forget to clean their neck. And I also get behind my ears because that also be nasty and people just forget about it. But I don't know if you guys can tell a difference in my skin just from me washing it, but your skin freshly after you wash it is the most amazing thing ever it's bomb if i look down or look this way as you guys can kind of see in the corner i have my mirror but now that all of that is done now we're gonna go ahead and with the makeup portion and i'm not gonna lie this is going to be the most natural like everyday look like i'm not doing a glam look i'm not doing any of that kind of stuff but if you want like an updated makeup routine let me know in the comments down below because a couple of my products have changed so the first thing that i'm going to do is put on some chapstick and this is the carmax daily care spf 15 sunscreen strawberry moisturizing lip balm okay it's not focusing i either use this or nine times out of ten i'll use my aquaphor lip balm but i'm going for the strawberry and i literally just like saturate my lips with it because i really want my lips to like soak it in and absorb it while i am putting on my makeup next i'm going to go in with my concealer normally i go in with a damp beauty blender but i'm not gonna lie i don't feel like getting up to wet it so this is going to be interesting And I just make sure to drag some of the concealer on top of my eyelid. I'm sorry, there's so much going on in my house right now. But at the same time, when is there not a lot going on in my house, to be honest? But yeah, like I said, I will do an updated makeup routine if you guys want to see it. So I'm not really going to go through like the products that I use for my makeup and all of that stuff. But I will talk a little bit because I feel like it's been a while since I've just kind of sat and like talked to you guys about my life and just kind of what's going on in it. So I'm at Christopher Newport and I stayed at home this semester to prevent getting COVID because she is so real. And like, yes, I could still get it 
like at home, but like I just didn't want to be on campus and really risk getting it. And honestly, it was a really good decision for me because I don't know, I just feel like if I was on campus, it just wouldn't have worked out as well. Although my grades probably would have been a lot better, but we're not gonna talk about that. So I said that we weren't going to talk about it, but I feel like I need to talk about it and I need to be 100% honest with y'all. This decision was probably the worst decision I could have made as far as my grades go. Yes, as far as a safety level, it was kind of what needed to be done, but my grades absolutely tanked. My GPA is so bad this semester. I am on academic probation because of it, and that is just not something that I am proud of at all, and I will definitely be on campus next semester because that is just what would be best for me and how I learn and all of that. So honestly, if you think staying home for you is what's best for you, then please do what you believe is best for you. But me, I need to go on campus. Like I need to go to my classes. But having everything online just did not work for me. And I'm so disappointed in myself, to be honest. And I'm so hard on myself because I know what I'm capable of. And I'm just so upset about this semester. But I was just here editing this video and I'm sure that there's more after this saying like, oh my gosh, I can't like add all these great opportunities. And like, yeah, I did, but I am definitely going on campus next semester, so. So my friend called and interrupted my video. Okay, I'm gonna do like a really quick run through of my life and what's been going on. And hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, I apologize. If you do have any questions, please comment them down below and I will be sure to answer them just because I love talking to you guys when you guys do comment. I go to Christopher Newport. I stayed home this semester because of COVID and all of that stuff. I'm a nanny and I love my job. I nanny for this family and the baby is 10 months old. He is literally the cutest thing ever. I'm so glad that the semester is almost over because the semester has been but on a stick. <sighs> like I'm not even gonna go into it. I will honestly do a whole separate video about like my experience this semester because I think so many of us are going through this and if I can help you guys, then that would literally, would just make my day. So I will make a whole video after the semester is over just explaining what happened this semester because this semester was butt. I'm in a sorority, I'm in Alpha Sigma Alpha and I literally love all of my sisters. So shout out to them if you are watching this video. And if you are watching this video, please comment a ladybug in the comments because I wanna see who is watching my videos. I'm trying to get more active on YouTube, kind of see how that goes because I said that every time like I come back, like I have like this huge burst of inspiration and I'm just grinding on videos and then I just like disappear, which is not good. I need to stay consistent. And so December is really going to help me do that because I am going to be on top of it this month. Even though I'm not completely participating in Vlogmas, I will hosting a lot and film a lot of content for you. Just be on the lookout. I think that's really it. That like I can really talk about the big stuff that's happening, even the little stuff. There's just not a lot that's happened recently, to be honest. My life has just been chilling. Like I've been good. I just have no complaints about life right now. Like life is just good for me. I cannot complain. But I am going to finish doing my makeup. I'm just the, literally the last thing I have to do is my mascara and I'm probably going to saturate my lips a little more with either some chapstick or I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to finish that and then I'm gonna go brush my teeth. But I will be back after I'm done with my makeup and after I'm done brushing my teeth because I'm gonna be picking out my outfit and I'm gonna be doing something with my hair. I haven't exactly decided what I wanna do. I don't know if I wanna keep the half up, half down kind of look that I have going on right now or if I wanna do like two pigtails or like one ponytail. I just, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but this is an Ariana a grande moment i'm kind of feeling it but we will see but yeah so i will update you guys when i'm done with my makeup oh okay and this is the final makeup look it's just really simple and natural like it looks like i used a lot of products and stuff as i was going through the routine but this is literally so natural and so simple and i just love it whenever I actually do it and it looks good and luckily for me it looks good oh I am gonna brush out my eyebrows because they are looking a little flat right now but also I need to go get my eyebrow done 
I need help. Now I'm going to go brush my teeth and figure out what I'm wearing. So I will update you guys when I'm figuring out what I'm wearing. This is the outfit and I'm not gonna lie, this is a moment. Like I am low key proud of myself. And if you are a friend of mine and you know how I usually dress, you should be proud of me too. <laughs> this white top is from Forever 21. This black top is from Zaffle, I believe. And it's just this cute little tank top moment. It's actually cropped, but like it stretches. So I pulled it down and tucked it into my jeans. These jeans are some mom jeans from American Eagle. My belt is from Boohoo. And then I'm just wearing my checkered Vans. And I decided to put my hair into pigtails. Like I said, this is like a fit. This is a moment. Like, can we just take a second? Also, I'm in my parents' room and their mirror because their mirror is a lot better than mine. Ignore the bandana on the top of my head. I laid my edges, so I just needed something to hold them in place while they dried while I am on my way to where I'm going. But I just wanted to end this video here because I am completely done getting ready. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys are looking forward to this holiday season or what holiday you celebrate if you don't celebrate Christmas. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join the Kins fam. We'd love to have you here. Also hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I would have a lot of ideas and content coming out for you guys so you don't want to miss it. All of my socials will be in the description down below so you guys can check me out on there and we can be friends and I will see you all next.